Retrotech 100. Hello, welcome to Retrotech 100. Today I've got a packages and pickups video. It's really raw, it's really uncut, just for the fact is I've got that much stuff that I want to make this video and get the buggers on the shelf. Okay, let's start with the packages. First package comes from Kevin Galvane. Look, I've got scissors. I'm not going to try and stab myself today. Just to make sure I don't snip anything. Uh, he had this and he said, did I want it? And I said, oh, yes, please. Uh, as you can see, things are a little bit different. I've changed the game room again, uh, as I will want to do it every three months or so. But anyway, this is what I've got. I've got it's a GPU keychain. Isn't that cool? Get that in shot there. He said he had this and would I like it? And I said yes I would. Um, I think it's a GTX 460 you were saying. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. So that will go with me other cool keychains. Oh, I've currently got, I've got a Game Boy beer bottle opener on my bag. All my keychains got on my bag. So there's that. Next. Here is one that got sent to me as a prize from Faith Johnson on Galaxy Sega. She asked if uh, people would put up pictures of their retro game rooms, and I put up a picture of mine, and she said, I won a game. I think she liked my PVM. She's now um, on the Retro Tech 100 Facebook group, and she's got an awesome collection. You'll probably see her on there. If you're watching, Faith, thank you for sending this to me. It is a lovely copy of Sonic 2 on the Master System. Now, I don't have many more system games, so this is a good start. I used to have loads until the cult of 2015. We won't talk about that now, though, will we? So there is Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive. Oh, Master System, even. Mega Drive, what a fool. And here's something I got myself in the post. I've had other things in the post, but um, I've had to open them. I had a, like a Mega Drive AB light lead that I got. They used for my PVM. But uh, I had to open it because I wanted to see what the Mega Drive looks like on the PVM. It looks great. For your Sega Saturn fans, here is a not very great game. It's World Cup Golf on the Sega Saturn. I hadn't bought any Saturn games since uh, the last nine games I got. And if I'm going to make a Sega Saturn Road to 100 video, I've got to start buying games. This was £3.50, postage is included. See, so, you know, the disc is loose, there's a shock. So have a look at the condition. Pretty bad. It says it works, we'll see, won't we? No way. So I think that's all the packages I've got now to the start of the pickups. First bunch of pickups I'll do is I went to see my friend James Patterson. You've seen him bring stuff into the channel before. I've had a massive pickup from him before. This isn't as big, but it's just as good. I've had to pull the camera out wide for this lot. First I've got a SNES Mini. He had it complete in box. He'd never even opened it. I couldn't believe it. So I've got that. Here's a SNES Mini. It's not in the box because it's been used. Here it is, it's awesome actually. I'll just disconnect the wires. I couldn't believe how cute it was. I've been really, really enjoying this. I haven't hacked it yet. Uh, me and mates on the RetroTech 100 Facebook group said I should, so I probably will at some point. Or I'll get Wayne to do it one or the other, whatever comes first. I've not played lots in this, so uh, it's cool for me to uh, finally have SNES to play. Then he was out of car boots, so only thought of me. I said I was looking for one of these, so we picked this up. It is the Beast. That is the Amstrad CPC 464. It didn't come with any wires. It, uh, I have no idea if it works, so that will be a test for the future. problem with the Amstrad CPC 464 is you need all sorts of wires because the power came from the monitor, and also the video came from the monitor. It's, it's a weird old setup anyway, but I will get some cables. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then I've got the cables for one that I do get in the future. Now for the games you sold me, we have War of the Monsters on the PS2, Capcom vs SNK2, Mark of Millennium 2001 for the PS2, I'll say that when you're drunk, Tekken Tag for the PS2, Final Fight Streetwise for the PS2, I know nothing about this game but I fancy the look of it, it's Capcom so how bad can it be? Sonic Gems collection for the PS2, I had this but the disc was knacked so I thought I'd get this one. He's got a massive collection of PS2, by the way. Sled Storm for the PS2. I've recently played Sled Storm 2 and it was terrible. So I really don't know why I've got this, but there you go. And Sega Classics collection for the PS2. I'm a massive Sega fanboy, so I have to have that. I'm going to give that a go tonight, actually. 
Time Crisis 3 for the PS2. Now I've got a PVM or a CRT, if you will. Uh, I'm getting to pick up these things. I haven't got a gun yet, so I have to get a gun. Tekken 6 for the PS3. Call of Duty 4 for the PS3. Funny, I didn't have that. And gun for the PS2. I'm not sure I got this from James, but uh, there you go, it's on the pile anyway. I've also got an original Xbox. It's buggered, so I'm going to have to use that for parts. But all of that, I got from James. Uh, we're determining the price because he lets me have it, uh, and then we work out the price afterwards. He's good like that. So that was from James Patterson. On to the next pickups. So I've got a charity shop that's only up the road from me, and sometimes it pays off dividends. Um, they do three pieces of media, either CDs, DVDs, or games for 99p. So for 99p, the first time I went there, I got Battlefield Hardline, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And Dirt on the PS3, those three were 99p, but wait, there's more. Currently I'm picking up old 80s movies on DVD. Um, I've got Street Fighter Alpha in the movie, and Star Troopers. I think they were 50p each. And then the mother load that I bought the other day. Nine pieces of media, be it DVD, CD or game. I've got all this lot for £3 all in. So I've got Groundhog Day. Sega Rally, Simon McGuinness, if you haven't got it, that's yours, because I've already got a copy of it. Juiced. Put them up there. Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. You don't see this very often in the wild, that's for sure. I did used to play it, uh, then I stopped. Assassin's Creed. Reflex MX versus ATV. Avatar on Blu-ray. Uncharted Drake's Fortune on PS3 and Tomb Raider Underworld on PS3. That little lot came to three quid if you can believe it. Get a load of that. So here is the mother load. I'd say this is about three and a half weeks. I hadn't had any for ages and then I've been finding bits and pieces. I've gone to James' house, got all that stuff and I've got all that stuff from the charity shops. But then it just shows you, you might be having shitty luck looking for games, but then the tides turn and the waves rush in and then you've got a ton full of retro games. Okay, this has been my packages and pickups video for this month. This has been Retro Tech 100, I'll see you next time.